Not a single word. The media was given every shot. Every Republicans on the Sunday shows yesterday brought the subject up. Last Sunday they brought the subject up on the Sunday shows. And none of the mainstream Sunday show anchors, other than Chris Wallace, wanted to talk about it. Have not even asked Obama about it when they've had the chance. And that leads me to Pat Cadell, who was also on Justice with Judge Janine on Saturday night on Fox. Pat Cadell, a former pollster for the Democrats and for Jimmy Carter, she said it just comes out, Pat, that the CIA operative on the ground asked for help three times. The New York Times doesn't cover it. A front page from yesterday and a front page from today, and they don't even mention it, Pat. I am appalled right now. This White House, this president, this vice president, the secretary of state, all of them are willing apparently to dishonor themselves in this country for the cheap prospect of getting reelected, willing to cover up and lie. And the worst thing is the very people who are supposed to protect the American people from the truth, the leading media, mainstream media, they have become a threat fundamental threat to American democracy and the enemies of the American people. What I saw with Ty Wood's father and family and the outrage I feel for my country and the shame that these people have no honor. And when will people finally say it? Cover up is too nice a word. And the media is the one of this worst on. Pat Cadell talking about the media. They've become a threat a fundamental threat to American democracy. They are the enemies of the American people. You should have seen him. He was practically crying, describing what he had seen with Tyrone Wood's father and family, the outrage he feels for his country. And he wasn't finished. This president didn't care enough to stay in the White House and, quote, find out what was going on the next day. Now I know why he didn't meet with his national security advisor and why he got on a plane and went to a fundraiser. An act, if any president, Democrat or Republican, prior to this had done, while the council was smoldering, would have been crucified. I've said it. This is, I'll tell you, I'm so, pers not politically, but personally nauseated by it. Personally nauseated by all of it. Now, let's go back to Obama.